In your 20s, dating is all about having a blast and exploring connections. But once you hit 30, things change. Women, especially those in their 30s and beyond, start craving that ring on the finger kind of deal. Guys are waking up to the game and realizing it might not be the best move for them either. Most women want kids, but a lot of men aren't so sure. And let's not forget about the whole house dream that many women chase. As a single guy, you can keep your bills low and responsibilities in check. Plus, no worries about future alimony or child support payments. So many guys these days are all about hooking up and not interested in real dating. And these women can't keep up. We've seen so many guys get wrecked by divorce or heard all these horror stories about guys ruined by it. Some of us have even been through it ourselves. It's made us lose hope, you know? Or maybe we never really figured out this whole dating thing to begin with. In dating, you're supposed to be selfish about what you want in the future, which means bouncing the moment you see a red flag, but also be flexible enough to grow with a woman and become the people you need to be when you're old and gray, with your kids all grown and gone. Because let me tell you, by then, your mind and body won't be able to cash every check you write against it. It's just frustrating. I've noticed a ton of sad divorced guys, like age 30 to 45. They'll be all like, no, I'm cool. But you can practically feel their bitterness and frustration radiating off them. It's like waves of pure sadness. By the time you hit your 30s, you've been through so much crap that you start developing these filters to figure out what makes a quality woman. And let me tell you, it ain't just about looks anymore except for the crazy eyes and psycho vibes, you learn to spot those real quick. It takes way longer before you let yourself trust someone because you've learned that those dopamine rushes can't be trusted. Why are men not interested in dating a woman, but instead prefer hookups? Well, first and foremost, it's safe. Also, men are not into those 28 plus post-war women. I imagine their pussy looking like a Mike Tyson versus Arby's roast beef sandwich showdown. So. Like in today's dating game, from around 18 to 28, some are all about exploring their options and riding dicks of different sizes. They might hook up casually and hit up those girls' night outs. But once they hit like 25, some of them start getting serious about finding their soulmate and settling down. And guess what? They often end up with guys who are a bit older, like 28 to 32. But here's the tea. Around the age of 30, things can get a bit rocky and divorces tend to happen more often. And here's the real deal. Studies say that the more partners a girl has had, the less likely her marriage is going to be super stable in the long run. Crazy, right? A woman's prime is usually seen as happening between 18 and 24, with some saying it's more like 20, 22. During those years, she often gets loads of attention, freebies like drinks, and even sugar daddies, or paid trips. It's like they get intoxicated by the power of their Pussies, you know? Sometimes that feeling of entitlement sticks around until their late 20s or 30s. But here's the twist. Around 25, 30, a bunch of these ladies start going all in on hardcore feminism, especially if they don't fit society's beauty standards. They start shaving and dyeing their hair while calling all guys trash. Meanwhile, other girls start freaking out and get desperate, settling for the beta male they would have rejected in their prime. That's why it's called alpha fucks. Beta bucks. Between 18 and 24, some girls are all about finding an alpha dude, but if they don't snag one by a certain age, they start going for the beta guys, who seem to have their lives figured out. You know, those men with good jobs, climbing the corporate ladder while the Chads and Tyrones were busy doing their thing. These relationships with beta guys can sometimes feel transactional, and it might explain why there's this rise in cuckoldry, you know, when a woman's married to a beta but has bulls on the side to fulfill her sexual desires. I think it's totally dumb for a dude to tie the knot without a solid prenup, whether he's got five grand or 500 million bucks. Like seriously, guys often feel the pressure to get hitched real quick with these ladies in their mid-twenties and up, usually within just a few years. In my opinion, a guy should totally play the field and thoroughly check out a girl for about eight years before even thinking about signing over his assets in a marriage contract. Guys have seen the total disaster that can go down and decided to stay single. The average American gal is like 5'4 inches and 168 pounds. She's actually bigger than the average guy back in 1960. Can you believe it? In today's world, guys are all about visuals. We appreciate fitness, femininity, 
and cooperation. Some women haven't quite met these expectations. Being a big and assertive woman, it's not really what most guys are into. Back in the day, getting divorced was frowned upon, especially if you were a woman with a kid and never married. But now, divorce is pretty common. Surprisingly, it's often women who initiate the split, even though they're usually the ones pushing for marriage in the first place. Can you believe that? 70% of divorces are started by women. In the old days, people tied the knot in their late teens or early 20s, but nowadays, women are getting hitched in their late 20s, and men are waiting until they're almost 30. By that age, guys aren't wild party animals driven by hormones like they were in their 20s. They're focused on their careers, and they've seen or heard stories of men losing half their stuff, custody battles, and shelling out child support and alimony in divorces. Every relationship has its rough patches, and men have noticed the odds stacked against them. So, yeah, things have changed a lot, and we're not thrilled about the risks involved. As men hit their 30s, things start shifting. The squad of fit women without kids shrinks big time. Ladies, no shade, but having kids ain't a plus for a dude who ain't their dad. Guys ain't out there actively seeking single moms to date. Kids just make relationships more complex. Men know that a woman's main focus is her kids and herself. The guy is lucky if he even gets third place. When it comes to what guys want from women, it's pretty much the same as it's been for the past 60 years or so. It's mostly the ladies who've changed in terms of body size and their readiness to split up and take everything. Yeah, men have gotten bigger too, but guys get judged on their looks and ability to provide, while women get judged mostly on their looks. That's all for today on Manhood. Don't forget to smash the like and subscribe buttons, and also click on the notification bell to be the first to know when I drop a new video. If you find value in my videos, you can show your support through PayPal or Cash App. The links are in the description. See you next time. Cheers!